All right, ignore the mess. But um, this is the next project that I am creating. So I bought all this from Hobby Lobby. I've had this from Ikea for a while. So I am going to take this long, long post board um, backdrop because this one was $7.99 and the shorter one, which was bigger, was $10.99 on the app. I just cut down the size. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this out into the shape of this. And I am going to... Um, basically make a sentiment piece for a coworker of mine. She's pregnant and this is her first baby. And her uh, invitations were rodeo thing. So she's having a gender reveal Saturday. So it's either gonna be a boy or a girl. So I got these and I thought it was cute. So I'm gonna have that backdrop with these on it. And I'm gonna have like a sentiment of words of encouragement for her. So, you know, anytime she's feeling pale, she can look at it. And I bought these two voting cards. So I might have one on there, I don't know, or I might just take these back. And then I had the pins for our core, the our coworkers are gonna sign it, so we're gonna sign it blue or green. And I think that's about all that I got. Yeah, I'm glad I got a ruler to measure it out. But I'm gonna keep it pretty simple, and then I also have cardstock myself. So I'm gonna print out a mother, like, you know, pregnant with her womb. And I think it's, that's my dog. I don't know why he keeps doing that. Um, but yeah, I think it's really cute. All right, so here is the work in progress. I didn't show you all the other parts because it was kind of like, ah, oh, you kind of get it. So this is a 16 by 20. So I just cut the paper out and down the sides. And there is cardboard back here. So I just matched it up with the cardboard, trim the sides, and I tape the ends of them. And then I have these because um, this is lines and thing with her baby shower invite and i have a lot of paper that i wanted to use and i'm like well uh we don't know if it's girl or boy so i thought i have two sheets of these so we gonna have to make a count on the first one um uh, so i'm gonna use this because it does have the blue um and the pink and the gold and then what i'm going to do is a um silhouette of a pregnant woman and then the you know the stickers and the cute little sayings. So we're we're gonna see how this works. So this is the cutout. I'm trying to figure out if I just want to use this part and the dots and put them on there, or if I want to take the whole this part as the backing and then I would use that as the silhouette and then do something else with that. I don't know. Um we're going to see how this goes. I don't know. So do I just take this part out? I can take this part out like this. But hold on. I got like one hand, y'all. I'm trying to do this. I thought I did a pass doing that on this one. Hold on. But like, y'all see what I mean? Like, I can either have it like this. Or I could just have it like that. But I like the design of this. It's kind of cute, though. I should have made it smaller. Or, I can, you know, I can do both so I don't waste it and just have it like that. Yeah, that, that's what we're going to do. And I hope they, like, get this part of it. I should have made this a little bit, too, but there's no way to make that a little bit more detail. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. But y'all get what I'm doing right here, you know? Yeah. And then I can put stickers around here, too. All right. I am done. Uh, so, basically, the focus of this frame is the cutout. And then I put the little stickers for the rodeo theme. And what's going to happen is all the blank spaces, people are just going to sign little notes of sentiments of encouragement, things like that. And um, gel-colored pens. And that's going to give it the more color to it, more personalization. So... Yeah, of course, I have leftover supplies, always, always. But, yep, yep, yep. This is it, so I hope she likes it.